baseball hats. Um, I think they're stupid. When did this trend take off to the point where everybody and their mother is wearing a baseball cap? Now, unless you are an actual baseball player, if you wear these hats, this video is for you. I don't wear it. Uh, this is an Atlanta Braves cap that someone gave me, and it has been in my drawer ever since I received the gift because I think it looks ridiculous. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. Um, I have a big head, and it doesn't hide that. If anything, it accentuates it. So I don't wear it. However, I get it. There's some people who, who wear it because, men in particular wear it because they're balding. Now, the thing that I, I find a problem with that is that if you're balding and you have this, this hat on, and then you meet someone, at some point, you do have to take the hat off. So they're going to know if you're balding. So you might as well not wear it and just, the, the smartest thing balding men can do is just shave everything off and, and be completely bald. Because um, wearing the hat 24-7, I even see them in restaurants wearing the hat. And there used to be a time when you, if you went to a nice restaurant, and you sat at the table, even it, it, at the dinner table in someone's house. You're not sitting there with your hat on, like you're ready to run outside. So, um, so yeah, I've got an issue with it, and that's what today's video is about. I'm just going to, I mean, Donald Trump, oh my goodness, no one on the planet looks worse than him with, with that base, stupid baseball hat. Then you've got Spike Lee, who never comes out from under the hat. I even seen Ron, Ron Howard. Remember him? Opie from, um, oh, what was that? Andy of Mayberry or whatever that show was. He's like 50, 60 years old now, and he's still wearing that hat. Opie, you're grown. You're an old man now. Get over it. Um, I saw Steven Spielberg with one on. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And um, I think what'll be fun is for you to see just some of the people that um, that you might recognize who seem to be addicted to these silly hats. So I'm saying if you still have any type of hair, you want to take the hat off and let your head breathe so you don't lose the hair you have. Because the other thing is that um, when you constantly keep your hair covered, it's not getting oxygen. And so therefore, and then all these things, these materials that these hats are made out of, um, the inside, this is man-made material, which um, in a lot of cases can actually take your hair out when you take it off. You'll see strands of your hair inside of the hat. So you want to be careful with that anyway. I know a guy who, wear, the other thing, oh, do rags. That's the other thing. I, I, I have a neighbor who's 50 something and he still wears a do rag. And I have been living here now almost a year. Uh, next month will be a year. And guess what? I have never seen him without the do rag. When he's in the building, when when he's at events that we have in the building at parties, he's got the do-rag on. It doesn't matter what he, if you knock on his door, he answers the door with the do-rag on. I mean, he, I'm sure he sleeps in it. He never takes it off. And the wildest thing about it is that he's always bragging about his hair because he keeps these like two little braids um, hanging out from the bottom of the do-rag. So all you can see is about from here all the way to here. And, and then the braids are under the do-rag um, coming out like here. And so he's always um, showing off and saying, yeah, women love my hair, this and that. But I'm willing to bet that the only hair he has is the hair you can see. And I mean, that's cool, do you, brother? But give us a break with the do-rag and and then and, and you know i i'm actually um i'm anticipating people um saying oh you can't tell people what to wear or how to dress and i'm not because they're going to do it anyway but what you have to see the bigger picture here is that we are being 
a brainwashed culture because we're adopting American culture, those of us who are not quote unquote American, in our desire to fit in and to be cool, we are wearing things that we feel are American fashion. And the reason I say this is because in some of the countries that I mentioned, there is traditional gear that the natives wear. And it's very beautiful. Some of the hajibs are very beautiful. A lot of the African attire, which I'm very fond of, is very beautiful. I'll give you a prime example of the brainwashing that's going on here. The other day when I did my video on things they don't want you to know, I was wearing an African headpiece, which was made of leaves. And it was I thought it was pretty beautiful. And, it went, and it's part of a, my whole costume that I wear when I go play my drums. And so... Um, I had it on while I was making the video because I was halfway getting dressed and I didn't feel like taking it off. I, I liked it. And when I like something, I wear it and I use it and I may wear it every day if I like it. And someone actually called me out on it and said, how can you believe anything this person is saying when she looks like that? So I'm sure they were referring to the fact that I had on this gear and to someone who maybe did not know my culture, it would seem odd because people can act real ignorant when they are indeed ignorant about something. Instead of just asking the question, they assume things and then they go ahead and, and they expound on it. So that told me there that, you know, wow, there's a lot of people that are, are not in touch with not only their own culture, but with other people's cultures. And, um, this made me think, well, then there's there must be a universal um, look that everyone finds acceptable. Now, the problem with that is when when you go after a universal look, you have people out here who are straight con artists. And I'm talking about everyone from your um, from your politicians to your pastors to even people um, that you do business with on a daily basis, merchants or, or banks or what have you. And so all of them have their uniforms that, that they are game ready. They get game ready um, by putting on the uniform for that day. So in the case of a bank officer, that, that person is going to have on the business attire because they want you to feel confident when you're coming in to deal with them regarding your money. In the terms of the police officer, he's or she is going to have on the uniform because they need you to be able to identify them immediately in the um in the um performance of their duties so they have on their uniform and so you've got you know and then you have you know when you're going to clubs and parties and things there's a uniform for that at least when i used to hang out and go to clubs and parties we got dressed we, we, we killed it because that was how we wanted to be represented up in the, in the party. And so what I'm saying is that none of you are going to play, play baseball. Why are you wearing these stupid hats? So you're, you're, you're identifying yourself as part of the rest of the sheep because that's, that's who's wearing it. All the people who wear these hats, like I said, unless they're balding, unless there's a woman who's having a bad hair day, and there's no excuse for that. Come on, ladies, you, you set the alarm clock and you fix your hair before you go outside. Or you do like I do, get a hairdo that doesn't require a lot of work. I braided my hair maybe, oh, yeah, yeah, and I, I do my own braids, but um, I did it maybe a week ago. And by the end of this week, I'll wash it again because I wash it once a week because the braids, I also, they don't, the hair doesn't get that dirty. So um, I wash it and rebraid it. And this is a low maintenance hairstyle that still is pretty cool. It, it, actually, I get compliments on my hair all the time. I think, but that, that, that really doesn't matter because I don't care what people think as long as I'm okay with what I've done, then, then I'm cool. I'm good to go. So I'm saying to ladies, if that's your excuse for putting on this dumb hat is because you didn't do your hair, well, that's a sorry excuse because what are you going to do if you have to go somewhere where the hat is not appropriate? Not to mention that it makes you look suspect. Now, 
a lot of people blame this and say this came in uh, in hip hop that that hip hop um, brought these hats about, but I don't think so. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> because if you notice, a lot of people in hip hop do not wear these um, these caps. Um, they, they may wear them in their um, in their regular life, but on stage and in performance, very few still rock the baseball cap. And now you've got people calling it um, the dad hats because there used to be a time when only a certain age person would wear these hats. Now you've got people of all ages. Um, they even put them on their kids, which I also think, I think that's kind of cute. Um, on, on a kid, it's cute. But on an adult, it's a no-no. So that's my rant today and um, and I'm saying I guess the message that I'm conveying is don't be a sheep don't follow the other sheep be yourself be original if you come from a certain culture do you represent you don't try to be something you're not um, you lose yourself in the process when you're trying to fit in and you want to be, you know, like everybody else. Then what happens to you? If, if I worried so much about um, being all these, um, these different suggestions that I get from people, oh, you should do that, you should do this. And if I focused on those things and I concerned myself with doing what people thought I should do, then I wouldn't be Rebecca. I'd be someone else. I might as well would change my name. I, I wouldn't be Hollyhood because I would be a totally different person and then I could not be trusted. Because if I'm coming across in a disguise that is disguised to, to make a pretense, to make you think uh, or believe something that I'm not being truthful about, then I should not be trusted. And if I have to go to those extraordinary lengths in order to get people to trust me, then I definitely should not be trusted. So beware of people who put on um, their game face and put on their uniform that is intended to uh, beguile you into thinking they are something other than what they are or if they're trying to fit in but it's not who they are and you see them sometimes they're not even comfortable I've seen girls who were not comfortable in certain outfits and all day whenever you see them they're pulling and tugging because they're not comfortable it's too short it's too tight they don't feel comfortable and so hence they're pulling and tugging and what they should be doing is heading home and changing if you're that uncomfortable in it. So um, I think I've pretty much exhausted this. Um, oh man, I can't wait for your comments on this one. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna pretty much wind it up here and let you just see a little, um, I'm just going to do a little um, presentation of, of the different people with wearing their little hats. And then I'll be back with a prayer. God bless you and thank you.
Okay, so I'm going to end in prayer right now. I want to say that, um, before I begin the prayer, I want to say that some of you might find this a little um, amusing, and some of you may even find this um, inappropriate in that you don't think I should talk about what people wear. And some of you actually might find this informative. And so for all of you, let me just say, when you lose your culture, you lose yourself. And that is what my prayer is. My prayer is that, Lord, don't allow the people to lose who they are. So many are following the trends there on that yellow brick road to go meet the wizard and they're dressed to go meet the wizard and they they want to fit in along with all the other munchkins and i'm saying lord that i want you to help the people to get back to themselves get back to their roots get back to their natural way of eating get back to their um clothing that that it if they're from from different places the tribal clothing that they're accustomed to wearing don't be ashamed because we are in america to express our culture i think nothing is more beautiful than seeing the multitudes of people who are representing where they're from even though they are here it doesn't mean that you are anti-american it just means that you show pride and where you're from. So Lord, I want you to just keep the people focused on their own culture that, that, that they, they come from so that they can not only instill this pride within themselves, but also in their offspring. The children need to get back to, to, to black, to, to, to whatever it is they are, Indian, to Irish, whatever your culture is, if your kids have stepped outside of it, you need to bring them back. Or the time to do it actually is when they're young, Lord. Help, help the people to, um, to teach the kids while they're young in the way that they should go. And so you have to instill that culture in them or they will grow up without a culture and then they will adopt cultures that are not their own. So that's what today's video is all about. And um, thank you. Thank you always for watching. God bless you. And we'll speak again soon. Thank you for the subscribers always.